Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves around Pascagoula, Mississippi, with an unknown frauditor at this time. I'm uh, still looking into it, considering I found this moron on the John Legato show. But at any rate, uh, the guy walks into the local uh, courthouse and stirs up some trouble because he feels like he's not getting his day in court or something like that, and ends up getting escorted out. And then he puts up the worst show you can ever see as far as crying and throwing a tantrum and everything like that. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. The judge's order she filed on May 18th. Clear lies, filing a force report, malicious intent is a crime. Let's see how this goes. Oh, poor little baby. Uh, do you need your bottle? Because, uh, well, you uh, commit several crimes in this building, such as trespassing, because you can be trespassed from government property, dumbass. Even if you're not committing a crime, which you frauditors need to learn that. You need to stop uh, saying that on your videos because we all know you're lying. And especially this one right here. I've been threatened, intimidated, denied my right of due process by the people who work inside this building. Doing? All right. I want to see the clerk about picking up an order to the judge. This is the uh, moronic frauditor behind the camera who's about to find himself being trespassed and, well, thrown out of the building, pretty much. And uh, it couldn't have happened to a nicer person. I mean, come on now, dude. If you're going to act like a dumbass and uh, think that you're big and bad, well, somebody's going to stand up to you and show you that you're nothing, especially when it comes to morons like you who want to be frauditors. Thank you. What's going on? How you doing? Hanging out down here, y'all could find nothing better to do with your time. Well, I got assaulted and battered by Mark Knighton. What? Yeah, the judge didn't do anything. Y'all let to get away with it. The judge did nothing about it. So this is what happens. I go, they tell me, I go next door, and they tell me I've got to go to Pasigula because it's in the jurisdiction of Pasigula. Yeah, criminal case. So, so I go there and, and I, I give the report. The guy takes the report, and then he says, "Come back in two days. The report will be ready." Yeah, yeah, all right. Come back in two days. The report will be ready. All right. And so I come back in two days. Sergeant Mike Shaboot comes out, says that the judge, Hasbrook, ordered them not to allow me to be a victim, not to be able to sign that criminal complaint. Oh, the judge pretty much said that you were not a victim in any circumstance and denied you your, uh, well, what you call due process. Here's what I imagine happened. You uh, claimed you were assaulted by a police officer which, according to frauditors, even a simple pat on the shoulder is uh, uh, grounds for assault. Which, if the standard were that freaking low, everybody would be filing assault charges on everybody else in this country. I mean, that would be uh, ridiculous right there. So there's got to be some other standard that is used, and that's probably what the judge told you. Am I right? Yeah, and that the judge wanted to see me. I'm like, oh, that's, she's presiding over a case. She can't talk to me. I said, this, this is a lot of funny stuff they going on. They got a city judge over there. Mike Fonner, the city judge. Well, that's okay. They told me Hasbro. They told me Hasbro. Judge, in Judge Hasbro's courtroom, really? that's her circus. Well, them we're, not, now, we're, some we're not going against the judge's orders. I said, even though she's breaking the law, you're not going to enforce the law that I pay you to enforce, right? Well, you know, you got to go see her. So I come over here. And I get harassed and intimidated 
by, by Lieutenant Wade. Right? He's, he's the head of security. He says, well, I didn't. Who is probably with him, too, right? Yeah. I don't know, but I heard there was some stuff that happened in the courtroom uh -oh. that shouldn't have happened. That's uh, right. I think you need to go in there and get your paperwork and get gone. Uh -oh. Well, I'm allowed to be here. Uh-oh. What did I just say? Uh-oh. I have a right to be here. You need to go right in there and get your paperwork and get And what's gone. your name? Oh, okay. Uh, so the frauditor ended up causing a disruption in the courtroom and ended up being tossed out, maybe, which is probably why the judge doesn't want to grant him anything because, well, she knows how much of a moron he is and... He's just looking for a lawsuit, or better yet, he thinks he knows the law, such as what's about to happen with him being trespassed. He has no freaking clue about trespassing laws. He thinks he can stick around and do whatever the hell he wants. Wrong, 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 moron. Thorpe. What's your badge number? 189. Thorpe 189. Nice what what go crime have I committed? Uh -oh. go get your what crime have I committed? I wouldn't keep that up. Go get your paperwork. You're not allowed to trespass me or remove me from a public building. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I'm don't, allowed to be here. Don't push me, brother. Cause don't I'll push me, brother. I, 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 talked with the, I talked with the FBI. I talked with the FBI for an hour and a half yesterday. You can't get your stuff. What's your name again? Thorpe? Thorpe. What's your badge number? 189. All right, I got it all on camera here. Stuff. Intimidation. That's called witness. That's called tampering with a victim. It's called tampering with a victim. No, I think in this case, it's more of a victim complex. You want to be persecuted. You want to be the victim. So it suits your story. So you can get what you want. You can get your lawsuits. You can get this. You're going to get that. You can make people feel sorry for you. When you're really just a pathetic excuse for a human being. Using your, your color, the color of law, you're pathetic. Color of law is civil rights, you freaking moron. What was this done because of the color of your skin, because of your race, because of your gender, because of, well, your religion, or anything of that nature? If not, then it is not color of law. You have a nice day. Uh, there's the door, sir. I know where the door is. I don't need to find. I don't need you to tell me where the door is. I have other business here. I have other business here, and I have every right to be here. The Supreme Court has held up. You, you want a federal lawsuit? You want a federal lawsuit? You want a federal lawsuit? I've got several going right now. Yeah, that's right. Take a number. Stand in line. You're not standing up for my rights. You're violating my rights. No, sir. I'm asking you now. Now I'm telling you, leave. That's not a lawful order. Now you now this is battery. Leave. This is battery. Leave. This is intem you're, you're you tampering. You want to go to jail for you're, you're tampering. For the conduct. Not, out the door. Let's this, go. This is, stop touching me. I'm stop touching, touching you. you are touching me. You're touching me. Ah! Ah! I need an ambulance. Right. Ah! I need an ambulance! I need an ambulance! Ah! 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 I need an ambulance! Help! Why are frauders so freaking fragile? One falls down and they shatter like a piece of glass all over the uh, floor or have a broken arm, broken leg, or some other injury that uh, they claim to have. Well, that's just not even there to begin with. While the rest of us who actually work for a living get injured uh, and still carry on. Hell, the other day an ASD student threw a uh, folding chair at my ankle, and, uh, well, at least it wasn't broken, but I uh, didn't complain about it, and I carried on. Man, oh, man, these guys are just freaking pathetic. I need an ambulance. You can do all that. I need an ambulance. Please call an ambulance. No, sir. Please call an ambulance. It's old camera. That's right. He threw me out the door. I'm, I'm bleeding. Oh, yeah. Bleeding, please. Call an ambulance. I need medical assistance. I need, can you please call an ambulance? Hey, oh, shit. Oh, are you having a heart attack? 
No, I was just assaulted by that officer in there. He, he threw me on the ground out here. I need medical assistance. I have it on camera too. I, I, I'm, I'm afraid for my life. Now, now he's tampering with a victim again. He's breaking the law. Please call 911. Oh, come on now, dude. This is just so damn sad and pathetic. If we knew what your channel name was, I'd leave a link in the description box below and you'd have an endless flood of people coming in just to make fun of you because of, well, how stupid and pathetic you truly are. We better hope that I'd never find out your channel name. And if somebody knows who this guy is, please let me know so I can leave the link in the description box below. That would be appreciated. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?